Okay, in my previous video, we um, created a library and then added a column, and then I showed you really quickly how to make a view that would show you only documents based on that column, creating a custom view. Well, going back to our grocery list, which is just a list, um, and a custom list that we created, we have a lot of stuff in this list. Well, we have two items which have a lot of information. And you know what? If you're sending me to the store and you give me a, a giant eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, chances are I'm not going to read everything on it. So what you can do, and, and obviously we're not going to make grocery lists in SharePoint, but this is just to give you an idea of a real world, of a, of a real world example, not necessarily scenario. When you're looking at this list, let's say maybe I just want to know what items are on it and what the price after the, the coupon is. And that's it. And maybe what section it's in. All items will give you every item in the list and every column. You can modify that view. So maybe, maybe you don't need to have the notes on the all items view. Maybe you'll make a specific view for that. But look, let's just create a new view. That'll give you a... a, a point of reference to compare. So anytime you create a view, you'll click on the more button or the menu button next to all items and click create view. And you're going to do a standard view. A data sheet view, we'll do that in a minute, but it basically opens it like an Excel spreadsheet. So we'll click standard view and we're going to call this item section coupon price. Um, it's probably not the best thing to put a bunch of commas and, and uh, syntax or punctuation in the name because that is actually a web address that uh, this will be converted to a web address that users can use. It's just I don't know. It's one of my little my little practices is not to put too much punctuation in those fields. <clears throat> so let's look at the columns. Since we're only going to show the item the section of the store it's in and the coupon price those are the only ones that we're gonna we're gonna show so i'll take off the notes um i will take off oh let's see i'll take off the price because that's just the price before the coupon and i'll take off the person or group and i'll take off the lookup and the coupon savings so we just have the item name the section and the cost of the item we won't filter it or anything we just want to show those three fields and there you go so you can switch back and forth between these two views. You can also send the URL, as you can see, item space, which is percent 20, section percent 20, coupon percent 20, and price.aspx. If you send someone that link, it's going to take them directly to this view of that list. So let's make another one where we, let's make a data sheet view. We'll call this list grid. And we'll just keep everything on there and click OK. And you can see what this looks like. So I could change, um, I could make another column for bread, but maybe put this as um, flatbread. And that's probably in the bakery, and that's probably $4 because it's, it's actually like, let's make it $7. And I'm not assigning anybody, and that's not required. I don't have a coupon. I don't have a cost of item. So um, we'll put in some notes. It's flat. Stop editing the list. So that's our list grid. Let's add one more and get a little creative with it. Let's do a standard view. And we could maybe, let's, let's call this the guess what it is view. <laughs> so guess what it is. And we'll take off the item name. We will take off the lookup and the person or group. We'll put the section first. Or no, we'll put the section second. And it, the cool thing is when you modify this, it changes these automatically. And let's put the notes first. Okay, and cost of the item with the coupon. We'll take off the price. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. Okay. <laughs> so you can see we have two items here. We have three. It's flat, it's in the bakery, and it's $47. <laughs> so guess what it is? I don't, I don't know. Well, here, you can find out right there. But you can see we move the notes field over here fairly easily just by changing the, the, the ordering. So you can configure these views to show information in a lot of different ways. Um, it's pretty simple. If I want to modify this and, you know what, we don't like this view, 
I would rather <laughs> I would rather know what it is and not guess. Just click on the more button and as long as the view you have that you want to edit is selected, you can modify it. And then we can put the item name back on there. It'll move it down to the bottom down here if you are <laughs> if you don't use it. So then I can just go in here and our item name was put at the end because it was the higher number, so I'll modify that back. Item name is number five. We'll make that number one and we'll take the notes off there because that's just ridiculous. Okay, eggs, bread, flatbread, bakery, bakery, frozen. So that's how easy it is to create to create a, a, a view. Now, you'll notice that we did create the grid view and it's not over here. Well, that's what the more button does. If you click that, you can click on list grid and there's our grid view with all our columns and everything else. We can add lookups to our items already in this list. The important thing about lookups is also, let me show you this really quick. If I go to my project documents and I add a column from the library list and I do a lookup here, check this out. I'll call this food product. I'm going to get items from the grocery list and I'm going to choose item name. Okay. I'll click OK. Now, <laughs> if I go in and I edit the properties of this document, I can go in and choose a food product from our list. So that's how, and then it's got a link to it. I can click that and it'll actually show me eggs. So you can see how you can intertwine and connect everything in SharePoint. It lets you bring a lot of stuff together that you might be able to do in Word or Excel or PowerPoint, things like that. Um, but it just makes it very easy. So watch this video, watch the creating content videos a couple of times and get fluent in SharePoint because the more of this stuff you know and understand, the better off you'll be. So I hope all of that um, explained everything a little bit better and made my article make a little bit more sense. And if you have any other questions, you know, shoot me an email and uh, check out our other lessons. And if every, uh, you know, other than that, have a good one.